Shall we do a round of crappy aquariums, chat? Get that set up. Oh, never mind. It's broken. <laughs> we can't do crappy aquariums right now because of the Reddit strike. Okay, well, never mind. Guess we're going to watch a YouTube video. I have a compromise, chat. Something you'll like even better. What if Megalodon met fish with strongest bite ever? Not the fish with the strongest bite ever. Fish with strongest. Welcome to another fight of the century. The first participant enters the ring. I don't it's even know who's the strongest bite ever. Is it Dunglosteus? Whichever species had the strongest bite. Megalodon. This shark lived 23 to 3 million years ago. Okay. And right now, it holds the title of the ultimate hunter of all times. Okay. The oh, that's right. It did beat the Kraken after all in a previous video. Let's not forget the previous video where a bunch of megalodons somehow killed a kraken that they deemed all intelligent god. And fighter is in the ring, and it's the Dunkley. Actually, some pretty good art. What are the chances that's AI generated? Because I actually really like that style. It lived around 350 to 380 million years ago and was the largest fish of that time. We're going to compare our fighters in several categories. Well, they are not the same size at all. This guy is probably like the size of like this on the Megalodon, just this little section. This is so significantly smaller. In each of them, the winner will get one point. In the final it round, makes them, these it actually two makes the Dunclassius make what look like it's bigger. Dunclassius will face each other. Dunclassius aren't known for their size. Well, they used to be thought to be very big, and then they got moved downwards and downwards and downwards. They've been nerfed like four times. These days, the largest white sharks grow to be 20 feet long. The Megalodon was more than twice that size, up to 50 feet. The shark's jaws were more than Potters. 6 feet wide. It well, would mean you could comfortably like... sprawl out inside the creature's mouth. At the same time, you wouldn't want to get anywhere near a shark the size of a big truck. And the Meg might have been even bigger. Do people actually talk like this? What do you mean? Everyone likes to present information in this way, with a constantly fluctuating tone of voice to keep you interested even when your attention span falls. That's why scientists- Why is AI used to replace creative jobs before it's taking over menial labor? Oh god, is this the conversation we're gonna have right now? Because YouTubers can save shitloads of money by- Like, Brightside probably pays a good amount of money for this art for all of their videos uh, and all of this animation and art for every video, so they have to make that back. They can basically deplete their uh, their costs totally by just generating it with AI and, you know, almost double their profit. No, they don't steal it. They actually hire artists. Brightside has, like, a whole artist section of the video. Can only guess what it's true. The company, I mean, that does the art and the animation and everything. But if they theoretically could do that with AI, they would 100% do that in a second because they'd save a bunch of money and having to pay all those people. Whose size was? Some species of Dunkleosteus were only 3 feet long, but the largest ones could reach almost 29 feet. This school bus What? 29 feet Dunkleosteus? That's just not true, right? That has to be like one of the really old oversized measurements. There's abs I mean, I don't know the modern ones, but that that's definitely wrong. I remember Dunkleosteus not being that big. They they probably used like the largest anyone has ever said that there was one. Pretty sure it was an old measurement, not a different species. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. The outdated version, yeah. Before he got nerfed. Ice fish was one of the largest of its time and much bigger than many modern sharks. But the Megalodon is almost twice its size. So in this round, the Meg gets its first point and opens the score one Five to nothing. doesn't matter, he would have lost anyways. Moving on to the next category, and that's weight. In this case, the Meg might be compared to two loaded cement trucks, Jesus. 60 tons. An empty Boeing 737 weighs less than the ancient Super Shark did. If you wanted to lift the Meg in the air, it would take as many as three CH-54 cargo helicopters. The ancient fish weighed almost as much as an adult elephant. It was So it's not even close? So it's not even close in size or in weight, but... Let me guess, there's going to be some random factor that causes the Dunkleosteus to win. I'm going to predict now that the Dunkleosteus is going to win this competition somehow. Also four times heavier than most modern sharks, with a total weight of four tons. Well, of course it's heavier than sharks. It's a bony fish. 
It's not conject. It's not made of cartilage. It's made of bone. And still, the megalodon is it also has armor plating that adds quite a lot of weight. More than ten times heavier than the Dunkleosteus. How about a treadmill test for the meg? Its top a speed was eleven test? miles per hour. It seems rather low, but no wonder. It was hard for the shark to move its body, huge and bulky. For comparison, much smaller modern- <laughs> Sounds like Waluigi. I read that comment and I actually can't unhear it now. I'm just imagining Waluigi's voice reading this. White sharks can travel at 34 miles per hour. The fastest human can swim at almost 5 miles per hour. But the ancient shark had trouble turning. Its mobility could be compared to a large cargo plane in the sky. The Dunkleosteus, with all that heavy armor on its head, had perfect protection from all kinds of enemies. That's why it didn't need to be a good swimmer to get away from danger. Besides, it was the biggest fish in the ocean, meaning it had nothing to be afraid true. of. Plus, agile lower fins and strong tail made the Dunkleosteus speedier than the ancient shark. So, in this round, Dunn gets its first point. So the conclusion is they were both slow as shit, but the Dunkleosteus was just a little bit less slow, so it's fine, it wins. Round 4. Fighting Tools The Meg's teeth were almost as long as your forearm, some of the largest teeth that ever existed. They were triangular in shape and razor sharp. Going to hear this voice in my nightmares. I do sometimes. Sometimes I have dreams and it's like the bright side voice or chills. I've had dreams narrated by chills. Like a few months ago, I think I had a dream where I was like wandering the desert and chills was like, he can't find food. Now he will try to get across the desert. I was like hearing that in my head as I walked through the desert. I was going insane. To pierce through whales thick skin. It's I wonder what this guy's conversation voice is. It would be really interesting to hear what this guy sounds like in like a normal conversation. I bet he sounds like absolutely nothing like he does in this video. But then again, my friends also say that I have a YouTuber voice. Like when I talk normally amongst my friends, they say that I talk differently than I do in person. I definitely project my voice more. But I don't think I talk that much differently. I don't know. But everyone I know in real life is like, wow, when you talk on YouTube, you sound really different. As we're formed from long bony plates. Yeah, the mic They were incredibly also, that's sharp that's and shaped into long slicing edges. The coolest thing was that these edges could self-sharpen. Is that just The fish's jaw voice? muscles were know. incredibly strong. They allowed the creature to open its mouth in 20 milliseconds. Time it. With the jaw like that, Dunn had one of the most powerful bites on Earth. Its strength can be compared to that of the Mississippian alligator. For it surprisingly... Wait, really? The Dunkleosteus, famed as like the strongest bite in the ocean, is comparable to a, an, a Mississippi alligator? Really? Hefty bite, Dunkleosteus gets Ooh. another point. Me too, Ender. I sure wish fish were real and my career wasn't entirely made up and I wasn't being paid by the government to convince children that fish are real. I mean, sorry, let's keep watching. <laughs> the score becomes tied at now. Let's see which of our contestants is more popular. What the fuck does that have to do with a fight whatsoever? What? Did, uh, uh, what, did, what they're going to they're going to stop for a second. They're going to get in vogue. To have everybody line up and vote for which fish. The Meg is the most famous shark in the world. Some people think that Megalodons are still alive. They're simply hiding somewhere deep under the surface, for example, in the Mariana Trench. But to feed such a large body, the shark would have to eat constantly, like me. And if this myth was true... <laughs> I think that's the first time Brightside has ever tried to make a joke. I don't think I've ever... That was so out of character. I don't think I've ever heard Brightside have a script where they make you a joke. You definitely see. Even though the Dunkleosteus isn't that well known, it still deserves respect. It lived earlier than the first dinosaur. Why do we pretend that we wouldn't be the predator if the Meg was alive? That's a good question. People pretend like if the Meg was alive, it would be like killing people at beaches all the time and like everyone would live in fear. The reality is we deal with tons of apex predators at all times. Like the Megalodon is not that much more advanced than 
a great white in theory. I mean, it would probably would probably just hunt it to near extinction like we have with the great white. Like, I don't think it would actually kill that many people. ...and was the largest predator of its time. They called so, it someone would catch one and try to keep it alive in an aquarium in Japan. It's like it would go through the same cycle that all the other large fish creature, do. the terrible fish, and only gave it a scientific name years later. Well, even though this round doesn't change the count, the Megalodon gets its People's Choice Award. And now, the final stage fighting skills. The Megalodon has. Wait. <laughs> We were tied and we tied, we broke the tie with popularity and now we're talking about fighting skills. Should that should this not just be the entire video? Should fighting skills not just be it? As the title of one of the best hunters ever. Sometimes these ancient sharks would also aim at the fins of larger sea creatures to immobilize them. It left the bigger opponents defenseless and unprotected. This is all Another theory, right? Like, we don't know that the Megalodon was targeting large fish's fins when attacking them. If you can get close enough to bite a fin, I'm pretty sure you can get close enough to just bite the fish as a whole. You're massive. The tactic the Meg used was a battering ram approach. The massive shark would crash into a whale, leaving it with no chance to escape. In other words, intellect we just established that this fish is slow as shit and strategy were the megalodon's most important skills if i get hit by a car at 10 miles an hour i think i'm okay i don't think i'm that concerned as for the dunkley osteus its trump card was its powerful jaws usually the fish would swim toward a smaller animal then in a split second it would open its huge mouth and the future meal would be pulled inside along with water. Classic. This like thing that every YouTube video does when it talks about scary fish, the fact that things suction in food. This is literally how every fish in the world feeds. When they open their mouth and then pull back in, it just pulls in the surrounding water in front of their mouth. And it's it's just it's just sunk suction feeding. It is how basically every fish, I mean, yeah, it doesn't work to that scale and distance. And the mouth was already open, so you wouldn't have created any suction. But this is something that literally every fish does. But for some reason, all of these like scary fish YouTube videos make it seem like the one that they're talking about is the only one that does it. And that makes it extra scary. It's like, bro, goldfish do it to feed. Yeah. The Dunkleosteus began to munch on sea creatures with hard shells or basically any sea animal that existed at that time. Glasses. Anyway, it's up to you to decide who gets the point this time. The Megalodon is the first to notice its opponent. The shark wants to use its battering ram approach against the... Wait, so what was the point in the entire measuring system if we're just going to have the battle? Why did we need to do all that predictory work if we could have just watched them fight? Cleosteus's powerful armor, so it begins to speed up. But Dunn dodges and avoids the collision. As the Meg turns around, the Dunkleosteus gets a chance to grab yeah, the shark enough. by the tail. In a split second, its powerful jaws close on the shark's fin. But the fish's bony plates are too short to bite through the Meg's thick skin. Dunn gets a powerful slap and is left I stunned for a moment. Mouth. The Megalodon uses his time to turn around. A couple of seconds later, the massive shark opens its huge jaw and ends the fight with one bite. What? So today, the Megalodon proves... Well, what was the point? This is literally every anime ever. This is, oh my god, the plot armor. I feel like I just watched an anime where it's like the main character gets beat up over and over and over and over. And just like the guy throws him against a tree and cuts him in half and whatever. And the main character gets up one last time, knocks the dude down once, and he wins. Like, bro, the, 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 the round score, the boxing score was like 1 to 10. Once again. Cuts them in half? Yes. Bro, watch an anime. Watch any, like, normal dramatic fighting anime. In any of the dramatic scenes where they have to fight the big bad guy, they will literally just get beat beat to hell over and over again, thrown against walls, you know, like, cut up and everything. And then the dude gets up one time with some, you know, weird inspiring story or motivation in his head, hit the opponent once, and they're done for. And that's it. And that it's worthy like, of everyone its title in anime as the best canon, hunter of Except the, the main character. Yeah, with the power of friendship. Whoa.